What up guys, Sokar here with episode 6 and today I'll be showing you some changes that you might already have noticed that I've made to the cave. I'm starting to look for uh, the aesthetic style or design style that I'd like to have in my cave and uh, so far I think it's worked out pretty well. It's very very uh, taxing to make though with all the, the wood and uh, stuff like that but uh, I like it. It makes it more roomy and uh, more importantly it makes it more lit up in here because a huge problem in my other world was that it was so damn dark. I really really want to live in a cozy place this time and I think the sandstone blended with the wood a style that I remember from uh, Ethos old um, old storage house uh, although he did put a lot more uh, wood into his design uh, I really think it's uh, good and the, it complements the um, uh, the stone bricks as well. So yeah, that's uh, what I've been up to. It, it's actually taken ridiculously longer to uh, to find something that I just sort of like uh, than I first anticipated. But uh, here it is nonetheless. Now, there's one thing that I right away would say uh, that you're welcome to comment about. And that is uh, rather you think uh, I should do pools here, or I should just do the stone brick slabs here. Uh, because, as you can see, it's kind of like the same thing here, and then there's supposed to be a walkway through here. So uh, I could have water over here on the grey slabs as well, if I wanted to do that. So let me know what you think of that. And uh, the other thing we might start work on today, I'm not sure though, because I've never built it before. It's an eats road. Uh, I want an eats road right here, or maybe just a minecart track uh, with some uh, with a decent looking tunnel. Uh, because the where the place we actually want our base, we want our base to be below the plains. Because as you can see, I'm trying to you know get the green down here, um, the green leaves. But the problem is uh, when you're in a swamp like I am, uh, they kind of turn dark and ugly. So e I'll keep it. Uh, it's a good reminder to know where you are, uh, but I'm thinking I'll make uh, that uh, transportation system here to take us like maybe 40 or 50 blocks down this way. And from there I'll be starting to work on the main base. I already have a great plan for it, so I think it'll turn out great. But the first thing we'll have to do today, uh, and this is something that has been absolutely killing me is we're going to make that damn enchanting room because god I'm level 60 now do you have any idea how frustrating it is to run around knowing that you could enchant a pig and things would go much faster but you don't because you basically have to wait until you make the uh, next episode and I was kinda uh, obsessed with the fact that I wanted to get a style ready for episode 6. I thought we got so far that you guys need to know just a little bit. Uh, of course this is not going to be how everything is going to look but just you know show you that I do intend on putting a lot of effort into how this place is going to look. But anyway as you just saw I just picked up the stuff we need. We need the enchanting table and we need the bookshelves and of course we need the pistons and whatnot to make it the pistonized. Which is important because I might not always want to be max level when I enchant stuff especially iron. Now if you remember a creeper blew up in my village house back in the day and that is that book that I said I would be using. I have saved it and there we go. We have our enchanting table. Actually I want to see how many achievements do I have because I've not switched out my uh, version for a long time so Use planks and sticks to make a hoe. Requires time to farm. Okay. Actually, you know what? Uh, I hate to be an achievement whore, but I know if I don't do this, uh, I'll be stuck with uh, never getting that achievement. So why not? I mean, it's not going to hurt anybody, right? Let's just throw it up because we already have a stone hoe. Or a stone mum. Uh, what else? Ooh, overkill. Deal 8 hearts of damage in a single attack. Wow, that's cool. 
Build some bookshelves to improve your chanting. Build a portal to the nether. And kill a skeleton with an arrow for more than... Wow. Fly a pick off a killer. <laughs> okay. Well, anyway. Uh, we want the enchanting room to be here. Basically. I'm thinking I'll have some sort of... Maybe a door. I don't know if I want an actual door. But uh, we'll figure that out as we go. Just in case I do want a door... I will want... I know how to make a secret door and we'll want the secret door to an to an enchant enchantery. So it, it's just going to take me a sec here to figure out how I want to do this. Um, I guess I'll want one to go down, one to go up and one to the side. So basically... Uh, oh, and we need to... Oh, okay, right. And we still need to be able to do the levers. Um... So, if we want that to be the entrance, we still need to have wood here, so we need extended pistons that can go from there, 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 there. Okay, so we're basically, if we want the enchanting room to be some, to have a door, you know, the kind of door that I'm thinking about right now, we will want to have this space cleared, so we'll come into a hallway here. And then we want our levers. I want some space. So we want our levers to be there. And there. And then we can start doing our thing here. Uh, I don't know if you want to watch me uh, build this actually. Uh, so I'm just going to, you know, make the start and then I will finish it off camera. And uh, you guys will then be able to see what I had in mind. Let's see, we want the redstone there and there. And then... The thing is, I need to... Alright, oh, uh, the pistons need to be further down than this, right? No, wait. They might... Not actually. And I'm just... I'm using stone bricks everywhere now because it's just easier. If I have a piston there, then I cannot retract it, so yes, we do need to be further down. That means we need to be further in as well. That's what I told her. Oh, come on, guys. You know it couldn't help me, on, uh, help that one. Uh, okay, so the pistons are going to go there and there. And that means want the redstone to go like this and then move around I gotta remember to okay so we have two enchanting yes okay there we go and then I just need to dig this way for a little while place down the pistons anyway uh, I'll just uh, finish this up, and then I'll show you the wiring. Alright, so here it is. Now, uh, we're going to go with a very simple piston setup uh, this time around, and the reason for that is uh, I will be making more enchanting rooms. We will want to have these everywhere we go. Uh, especially you want one in the main base, which uh, is not going to be... which is which is the base we're not going to be starting working on for a little while. I need to do a lot of hollowing out and uh, stuff like that before we can do that. But uh, basically, uh, I'll go through the circuit here. Well, I'll show you first. You see, this lever activates those, and that lever activates the others. Now, the way this works is very simple. You simply have, you know, uh, the lever on this block, which transfers power to this redstone. And it basically just goes all the way around to here, goes below, activates that piston from that block, activates this piston here by uh, led leading the wire into this block. And the other one is simply a, a redstone wire going all the way around, except not hitting here. Uh, and that's basically that. It's very, very simple. That's why I like it. And uh, I guess we can put in the 
enchanting tables or <laughs> enchanting tables the bookshelves and there we go I'm thinking we will want to have um, wooden uh, wooden a wooden floor in there because wooden floors um, go well with enchanting tables you know even if the enchanting tables are down you won't be able to see it because the pl uh, they basically look like planks um, or I could just go with uh, stone bricks to you know add some contrast so it's not all um, it's way too dark in here way too dark I can't even see anything myself there we go uh, or I could add uh, the stone bricks and the reason I would want that is because then you don't then you have the exact opposite you know <laughs> you might well might not want to actually have just uh, the wooden look because to be honest it can be quite the uh, it can be quite the uh, what's it called uh, in Danish it's called ains format which basically means it's the same all over the uh, all the time you want some uh, some change you want some um, something to differentiate the different areas by and uh, make things look more interesting and appealing I guess we will place these I've actually already uh, built this in creative mode uh, I also have a much more complicated uh, version that I'm sure you guys would love to see and you will someday it's sitting there in a in an invention map just waiting to be used okay now I gotta remember to do this right so we have the pistons here this one will go there will come up there we want the other ones to come down there which means we want the extended piston yeah very very simple and then I guess we simply walk around here placing in the pistons and we are one short there it is there we go place in the bookshelves and when we get to the wiring I'll do that again and I'll with the wonder of editing show you just how I did that part All right, and here we are. Let's uh, see it off. See, that gets that there. That gets those down, and in conjunction, all four gets activated. Very nice. We have a functioning room now. Now we simply need to clean it up, and for, but first I'll show you how it works. As you can see, on these uh, stone bricks, uh, is where the levers are attach attached and basically you just run a wire up here all the way around this uh, line over here activates all the pistons onto this part and the only difference on this side is that I basically made some blocks go up on the pistons and made the wire go up there so that those two doesn't connect and that's basically all there's to it very 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 simple design uh, and now we need to get to, since I'll never be able to, uh, never actually have to go up there. There's no reason to keep that. And for now, I think I'll be going with stone bricks because I just, I don't know. It, it's I like them and I really love their look. Um, you know how they look compared to um, what is it called uh, with the rest of the build. Or, no, 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 I think I have something else in mind. Let's stick with what we know. Let's use some sandstone. Run, goddammit, run. Wow. And so we put in this. And here we're going to have some dark woods. I really should have taken that with me. Um, I have some uh, weird lag spikes, it's kind of wa uh, worrying, but uh, 
I think it'll go over. I think it's because I have uh, so many other programs open. I guess I should really just shut them down. There we go. Whoa! And then we go through here, and then basically what I would like is for some uh, wood to be uh, to come out and you know cover this up, or maybe uh, or maybe just have an opening here, an entrance that might actually be better. I don't know. I'll have to uh, do the aesthetic changes off camera, you know, uh, because I just can't do it. Uh, I just can't do it on camera. It's simply, uh, it's not my thing. I'm just not good at it. And I guess I want bricks in the ceiling, though. Or at least here, because we won't be able to see these parts. There. There. these to be blocked off as well, so we don't have to look at the wiring. And then, I think actually, uh, as said, I'm not going to do the aesthetic changes on camera. I'm just going to make some very simple ones here. I might change it afterwards if I don't like it. But I'm thinking I would actually like to get the dark wood in here. Uh, to stay with the whole half dark wood on the walls, but I don't think I have enough. I actually know that I don't have enough. Damn it. Almost enough, though. And then I guess I might as well just use bricks here. Yeah, I think I'll, I like it. Uh, I want to get some more dark wood. I'm really liking the dark wood. It's like my favorite building block right now. I just feel like it. Uh, it just feels like it looks good everywhere. And but we still need to get some light in here. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, how do we get that? First of all, we'll go like that. I'm gonna go and get a jack-o'-lantern very quickly and uh, that way we'll have some uh, that way we'll have some lighting that's not a torch I need to stop using all them torches really hmm seems like we have a small invasion here we have to deal with first oh my god there's so many it's very nice, very nice. This um, don't worry. I'll also will make aesthetic and functional changes to the slime farm as well. I'm not the sort of guy to leave anything out. And also, uh, I don't know if you know this, but uh, I remember Ita, for example, my good friend, who I do um, a lot of uh, redstone tinkering with. Uh, although we haven't uh, really been at our peak since. Um, since the SEMA, but uh, he really likes to do things just with redstone, you know, redstone torches, doing circuit circuits with torches and uh, repeaters and stuff like that, where I'm more the guy who got into uh, circuitry in this game after the pistons arrived, so every time I do a circuit, I tend to use pistons, and the it's, really, it's a very bad habit, actually, because it creates so much more lag. But, uh, yeah... Anyway, I have the the lanterns or the the jack o' lanterns. I'm thinking, and again, I'm not sure that I'm gonna stick with this, so you don't have to worry if it's ugly. I'm simply trying out stuff. There. Oh, we so need to get some glowstone in here. Uh, I really do not like this, not one bit, but I do have another idea, which might work. 
Uh, yeah, I think I remember Etho said long ago, once upon a time, that light can pass through half slaps again. No, uh, not half slaps. They can't pass through half half slaps, but through stairs. So I guess it's time to really see if that's true. I'd really like it if it were. But at the same time, I'm not holding my breath. So if I put a half slap there, I guess we'll just test this before before going full scale. No, it looked like Yeah, it doesn't look like it's the case. Not anymore, unfortunately. So I guess we will have to have at least one jack o' lantern in here. Or I guess it, no. I guess I could also just put a uh, torch up there, but I think I'd want something that kind of fills in the gap or maybe okay so that's the ceiling or I could put a torch in there I think I'll actually just go with that I think it look looks cooler and then of course I'll need to uh, get the last here, the last uh, tree here, maybe add some more in. On the sides, do we have any bricks left? Yes we do, let's uh, quickly finish up this area here. might actually want this because if I'm gonna make the door I don't know if we're gonna do that today I have no idea how long we've s how much time we've spent so f far but if I do want it, it actually kind of feels a little shut in here I don't I don't like that and then out here we'll add some other blocks uh I think I'll do do that. Let's see how that looks. Do we want bricks? No we don't. We want what do we want? We want wood for now. I'll change it up. I'm sure I will. And then bricks all the way around. That there. And then the idea is oh wait, I've moved it. That wasn't where it was supposed to be. It was supposed to be there. Same on the other side. It's too uh, it's too bricky, I know. I just don't really know what to do about it right now, so we will leave it like this for right now. Anyway, let's get to the real good stuff. Let's get to what I've been waiting to do for so long. Placing down the enchantment table. Going for full enchant. Uh, we'll just have to go make a pick and then hopefully we'll be... Uh, the enchanting gods will be merciful, uh, merciful and give us something interesting and good because you have no idea the amount of mining I'll have to undertake just 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 a little bit efficiency and unbreaking three that would absolutely make me no I can't say that on camera alright let's go for it if this takes a long time I will uh, I'll do it off camera. 
There we go, guys. Level 30. <laughs> 30. Level 50. Let's see what we get. Oh, please make it good. Please make it good. Uh, uh, well, efficiency 5. I asked for something I could mine fast, and I guess that's what I got. So, uh, anyway, I've never, ever used an efficiency 5 pick. I want to try it on a break. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, Jesus, I really love this. I really like this thing. All right. Um, but anyway, uh, I'll go check and see how much time I've used. And if we have time, I will do the door. And if we don't, then um, I guess we'll do it next time. Anyway, I'll, I'll have a look real quick here. All right, guys. Uh, I've just checked how long we have. And it seems like we've been recording for just shy of... Uh, 23 minutes or something like that, 25 minutes. So I guess I'll end it here, uh, but before we do, uh, I thought I would knead up the the enchanting room a little bit, so uh, let's go and have a look at it. So this is the entrance. Uh, I'm not sure, I'm gonna do something with the hallway here. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure what, but I'm gonna make it very obvious that you can go through here, and we don't really need a door in my opinion. So we'll leave that out, and then we have some uh, light posts here. Uh, and of course with some wood and dark wood. I really think it's cozy. And then of course we have the functioning pistons here. With our little lights. If we retract them, we have dark wood all the way around. So uh, yeah, I, I'm really happy with it and uh, I'm glad that I can finally start enchanting. I'm thinking that every time I enchant something, a big enchant, I'll record it and uh, I will show that to you guys because I think uh, that's one thing I really, uh, I really I'm a little bit disappointed with with the bigger YouTube guys. They never show their enchants off, you know, not too often anyway. And I, I don't know, I'm just a huge sucker for enchants. I really, th I really love the system. Uh, it's flawed, yeah, but uh, I love it. I think it's... Uh, I'm a gambler myself, so I really like the gambling part. But anyway, uh, that's going to be it for this time. And uh, yeah, next time... I'm not sure what we're going to work on next time. It depends on how much I'm, I get done off camera, really. Uh, if I get to the new area, then, uh, then we might actually start building our first farms. And if I don't, then... I don't know. It's a uh, it's it's a bit it's a bit of a mystery what we're gonna be doing next time for me, and uh, but hopefully you'll you'll survive and look forward to whatever we start working on. Let's see what else do I need to do to work off camera. I think this is it. There we go. So anyway, guys, I will get started on uh, the next big part project or preparing for it. And in the meantime, you guys take care, and I'll see you in the next episode. Take care, everybody.